Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be creating a colorful look using this new palette from Sua Beauty. It is called Magic Plus Ecstasy, which they launched on Black Friday. Also, I'm going to be doing a complete review of this palette along with swatches and everything. So this palette retails for $35 and this is the outer packaging of this palette. And here is the actual packaging of the palette. It has cardboard packaging and it also comes with a mirror. We get seven matte shadows and five pressed glitter shadows in this palette. It's a colorful matte and glitter shadow palette. And these are the swatches of matte shadows. And these are the swatches of glitter shadows. And I'm going to be using these brushes to create the look which I received along with the palette for free. Now let's start the tutorial. First I'm going to prime my eyelids. I'm going to use my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eyeshadow Base. First I'm going to use the medium shade. Uh, to cover up the pigmentation on my eyes then i'm gonna go with the shade called white and then i'm gonna apply this on my eyelid applying a white base before going in with the colorful shadows make the colors pop more so now once we have the base now let's move on to the shadows first i'm gonna apply this blue matte shadow on the outer and inner part of my eyelid as well as in my lower crease i'm not gonna bring this color towards my upper crease as well as i'm gonna leave a a uh, small space on my eyelid the texture of matte shadows are so soft and once i swatched i noticed that they go on smoothly but uh, they are not super intensely pigmented so it actually took some time for me to build this blue color then i'm going in with a green shadow and i'm gonna blend out the edges of the blue i'm using a blending brush with a circular motion back and forth i'm gonna blend out the edges in my upper crease as i was telling the matte shadows are so soft and they blend actually so easily but they are not super intensely pigmented so in a way it is actually good then to add dimension to the look i'm gonna go with the black matte shadow and i'm gonna apply this on top of the blue shadow that we placed earlier then again i'm gonna go back with all the matte shadows blue green and black until i'm happy with the color intensity blending and all the black matte shadow was so easy to work with i really didn't had any hard time blending out the black shadow then next i'm gonna pop on this green glitter shadow right on the center of my eyelid it's a pressed glitter shadow which has tacky um, texture to it so that you don't have to really use any glitter glue then i'm gonna go with this blue glitter shadow and i'm gonna pop this on the edge of that green glitter shadow which we just placed the glitter shadows were so easy to work with and i really didn't notice any fallout then i'm going to create a winged liner using this hydro liner uh, in the shade grease which is a black color from suva beauty hydro liners from suva beauty are my absolute favorite then i'm gonna pick up another hydro liner this is uh, in the shade called freezy and then i'm going in with this purple matte shadow on my lower lash line i'm gonna keep this halfway through then on the outer part of my lower lash line i'm going in with this orange matte shadow for my waterline i'm going in with sephora collection retractable waterproof liner in the color blue and for my inner corners i'm gonna apply this yellow matte shadow then on top of it i'm gonna go with this yellow glitter shadow also i'm gonna pop a little bit of that yellow glitter shadow on the center of my eyelid just to tie the whole look and finishing of this look with some mascara on my lower lashes and this is the finished look you guys and this is the very first time that i worked with only matte and glitter shadows for my look because usually with matte shadows we go with a shimmer or metallic shadows then we add a touch of glitter to that look but today i played with only matte and glitter shadows it was quite a unique experience and as you guys know with any of my eyeshadow palette review i always try my best to use as many shadows as possible and i used all the matte shadows except the white one as well as i used two glitter shadows so coming to the palette just by looking at it it's a colorful matte glitter shadow palette i wasn't really impressed with the swatches but i really liked how it performed on my eyes the matte shadows were so easy to blend with they have the smooth texture i would say they are not like super intensely pigmented you would have to build the color slowly which is actually good 
with the bright colors like this if it is extremely pigmented you might find it hard to blend but it's not a case with this one you would have to build but they blend out so so beautifully guys and even the black matte shadow i really like that one it's super intense black but it blended out so beautifully you can't really say that have a uh, black shadow in this look and coming to the glitter shadows you actually don't need any other glitter glue with these glitter shadows they apply so beautifully they are so reflective and honestly i didn't see any fallout with the matte or with the glitter shadows in this palette which was really surprising to me. Yes, it's not an everyday type of eyeshadow palette. This palette is for someone who like colorful glitters as well as matte shadows in it. And I personally really liked this palette. As I said before, it was quite an unique experience to create uh, a look with just matte and glitter shadows. I would definitely be using this palette and creating more looks with this. I might grab a different palette if I need some metallic shimmer shadows but I will be reaching for this palette for sure for glitters as well as that black matte shadow but I don't think it's a must have palette in everyone's makeup collection. And that completes this review guys I really hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful because it really helps my channel to grow. And thank you all so much for your love and support. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.